What's up guys? Remember that free MacBook Pro I was given a while back? Well, all of a sudden the hard drive died and I have tried everything I can to save it. I have tried uh, restoring the OS using a bootable USB drive and it won't even let me erase what's on there. So today I'm going to show you how to replace the hard drive in your MacBook Pro. I'm actually going to be upgrading it to an SSD and I'll be telling you what to look for if you think your MacBook hard drive is dying. So let's jump right in. So the first thing, if you think that your hard drive is dying, you're probably going to experience a really slow startup or just like load times in general. You might get the spinny wheel a lot. Um, so just stuff like that. If the MacBook ever completely freezes up or you find yourself having to use like force quit a lot, that is all a sign that you might have a bad hard drive. Of course, my MacBook won't even boot up at all. So let's go ahead and replace this hard drive. So first what we need to do is take this bottom panel off of the MacBook by taking the 10 screws around the edges out with a Phillips screwdriver. Make sure to keep these screws in the right order when you take them out. Okay, so you can see I have all 10 screws pulled out. Now we should just be able to pull this bottom panel off. It's that easy. Okay, so once we're to the hard drive, all you have to do is take out these two screws right here. As you can see, that little wall just pops out. Now, if you can get it with your hand, that's awesome, but I have a plastic prying tool. I'm just gonna pry on the side of the hard drive and it comes out very, very easily. And we can disconnect this cable here. Be careful not to tear it. Okay, so I got this PNY SSD for $30 on eBay. Pretty excited about it. It's 500 gigabytes. It was a great price. Otherwise, I would have gotten a Samsung one, but I didn't really want to spend much money on this MacBook as it's not my main computer. So this is what we have. So now we just need to take these studs off of the hard drive and screw them in onto our new hard drive or SSD using a T6 screwdriver. All right, so once you've got the studs in, now we can go ahead and connect our SATA and power cables to our SSD. Very seamless connection here. And then we can just slide the SSD into place or your hard drive, just like that. Now we need to get our mount and place it to where it lines up over the studs, to where these orange pieces line up over the two studs. It's really easy. Just make sure to push down on it good enough that it's actually sitting all the way down. And then you got to get your Phillips head back. Now we got to get the cover back on the MacBook. Okay, so I turned it back around just so I can remember where all the screws lined up. So now we just need to place our cover on the MacBook, it should sit down perfectly fine. One thing to note is that these longer screws, there should be three of them, go in the left bottom corner and the two middle parts of the back of your MacBook. All the rest of the screws, I believe, are the same size. And just like that, you have upgraded or replaced the hard drive on your MacBook Pro. If you want to know how to install macOS, please click this video here or hit the link in the description. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And hit that bell icon so you're notified as soon as any new videos come out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below. And as usual, I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Again, thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next video. Peace.